epoxy crack injection what is epoxy crack injection where we need to do epoxy injection why we need to do that what are the advantage all those and much more will be discussed today i am prasad from structural guide please subscribe our youtube channel you may get the notification on new videos why we need epoxy injection it is a kind of a structural repair when there are cracks that are structurally important we have to do the repair to enhance the structural capacity of the structural when you have a structural requirement when you need a load bearing structure or if you have a load bearing structure crack those kind of situations we have to use the epoxy injection that has that is used for structural repair it has a high compressive strength it has a good tensile strength it set quickly and it can be injected with a low pressure due to the low viscosity so we use low viscous high strength injection for structural repairs that's called the epoxy injections there are other kind of injections also but this is kind of a expensive method but we have to do sometimes we have to do it because it's important to do we need skill labor or technical staff who have the knowledge on this and also we have to keep in mind when you do this it has to be done on the dry surface for example if you if you have checked the water retaining structure fill with the water and then if you notice there's a crack pass through crack you should not do the suddenly after this checking because you are not allowed to do it in wet surface there could be a debonding therefore we have to do it in a dry condition firstly you need to identify the cracks as you can see here you have to identify the crack pattern where the cracks are you have to locate those crack and you have to mark those crack once you mark the cracks you can insert the nozzles points at which you you do the injection of the epoxy you have to insert nozzle that uh, gap with nozzles could be based on the pressure and the method you are doing the injection and also you have to refer to the supply specifications also depending on the requirement it may be at a 200 mm or 300 mm spacing then you do the filling of gaps or the seal in the cracks now once you install the nozzles you can apply a sealer in between these nozzles that is because if you if you uh, if you apply pressure or the you will insert the epoxy with the pressure then this will come out in between these two nozzles we have to seal it properly there are materials specific material that can be used or that can be applied for this sealing purpose they should be able to bear the pressure you that bear the pressure that we are applying by the epoxy injection once you seal it it should be led to cure once it cured you can do the injection you you could have a machine like this or this is a epoxy and you have a machine some machine that generate the pressure here then you fix the pipe to this nozzle and you insert you pressurize or you send the grout through this nozzle and you have to examine whether it's coming from the other end now if the, if the crack start here you have to start from here then you apply the epoxy grout epoxy injection from here then you have to do it until the epoxy is coming out from this you should not seal this one so you should not seal these uh, in nozzles so you inject from here let it come out here then you seal this one and you do the injection from here then you have to apply you you have to inject until it's coming from here this can be repeated along the crack till its end that's the normal process of grout injection you have to keep in mind or you have to use the proper uh, seal and material here otherwise when you apply when you do the pressuring or when you do the pressure injection this could damage that you have to keep in mind when you are doing the injection here now we are going to show you the method of uh, injection you can see here the grout is coming from the seal crack here you can see the grout is coming from the crack now 
as you can show in the previously this injection is start from the down and they are executing the they are, they are absorbing the movement of the crowd through the cracks on the top so they are doing it until it's coming from the crack throughout the length we have to check whether the crack is fully sealed in this case today we are discuss about the epoxy grout injection so we hope that you learn about the process and the requirement of epoxy grout injection let's meet again for new video thank you very much for watching our videos